as the year's wrapping up, we need to come to one solid conclusion. Do I actually like navigation? Look, we've been talking navigation on this channel for the better part of what now? Maybe two years, on and off, give or take? I actually get a lot of gals asking me about navigation leggings. I actually have a good friend of mine that just texted me the other day asking about certain leggings, gave my opinion on them, and then I thought to myself, what's navigation been up to anyway? The last navigation video that we did on this channel was back in January, almost a year ago. And back then I only had one more legging to try, which I believe was the Curve. Which after trying that one would mean that I've tried every single navigation legging out there. But because it took so dang long, they've actually released a couple more leggings on top of that. So now I have exactly three more to try until I have tried every single one. Thank you, Bay. Bay really wanted me to make this joke, okay? Let me see if I can remember it. Right now, I feel like Thanos. Right now, I feel like Thanos. Collecting the Infinity Stones. Collecting the Infinity Stones. And those are the last ones you need. And these are the last ones I need. Depending on how these leggings go. God, I'm treating them like crap in this video. I'm just bundling them up, what the heck? And apparently Bay thinks this is so funny, but I'll snap and make half of them disappear. It means nothing to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Really, if I don't like any of these leggings, I will officially love half of Navigation's leggings and hate half of Navigation's leggings. I just bit my lip. So the leggings that weren't quite for me were the scrunch and the contour. Now my very first video of navigation, I literally reviewed those two and those two only. Right then and there I was like, oh my God, I don't think I really like this brand at all. You guys really rooted for me to try more than just those two. I'm glad I did. Because the other video reviews went a lot smoother. I actually really did like a few more leggings. Since then, I've tried the sport, the camo, the wild thing, the envy, and the signature 2.0. Aside from little things here and there, like a camel toe, or things like not really liking the bold branding on the sport. Other than that, I really did like those leggings. Also wasn't a fan of the solid seamless. So where we stand right now, I'm leaning towards liking more of the leggings than not. So now, fast forward to today. We are going to be checking out the digital seamless. Pulling this right out of the bag, I smelled nothing but permanent marker. It's actually super potent. I couldn't get away from that smell. This absolutely 100% reminds me of one of the Gymshark camels that we've seen, but it's not nearly as textured as that one. That one, I mean, like, was three-dimensional. This one is not. We're also checking out the Curve Seamless today. You guys, when I pulled this one out of the bag, I was like, wait a minute, didn't I already review this? I tried this one on already. I was thinking the contour. They look so similar. Oh my God, they almost feel similar. They are, so they're similar, aren't they? I'm nervous. Okay, I'm really nervous now because if it's anything like the contour, I ain't gonna like it. It even has the smiley underneath the bum. Like they're identical, right? And last but not least, we're checking out the Performance Seamless. I don't know what to think about this yet. I do like the material. I like that softness. It feels like it has a ton of potential to just mold around my glutes nicely. However, there's actually no breakup in the back. So am I gonna get a uni butt? Where the booty contour at? Let's start with the performance leggings in the color mocha. That's the one I got. This definitely has a yellow undertone to it. Really warm, can you see that? Now this is an all over marl, except for the really, really dark blocky contour. This contour goes down the legs, underneath the glutes. When I put them on, I felt right away the crazy amount of compression in this waistband. Waistband's a little compressive. Not quite as compressive as the Alphalete Amplify. Don't get it twisted. But it was definitely there, especially because the rest of the legging, completely stretchy, like unreal with the stretch. When moving around in it though, I can feel it. This waistband, if there's just a little less compression, it'd be better. I think in terms of comfort from here down, is where it's at. This is more of a lower to moderate compression, whereas the waistband, pretty highly compressive. First impressions when putting them on. I was like, where's my booty? Where is it? I really worked hard at bringing the material where I prefer it. I did. I squatted down low in it, shimmied it up. It seemed to have helped, but the downfall to that, I guess because this material is really slippery soft, is that when I was walking in them, it just came out from my glutes. Like it, like nothing ever happened. Like I didn't just work and, and literally blood, sweat, and tears put into trying to get it up in between my glutes. From now on in all of my videos, you can expect each legging 
to be reviewed on the treadmill for many reasons. I have a ton of natural light coming in from the side. So this is gonna tell you whether or not it's cellulite friendly, whether it shimmies, especially with some slippery leggings, you wanna know how they hold up when actually actively walking in them. And whether or not it maintains its shape on the glutes. This is very important. You work hard to make it look good. So from now on, we're gonna call that the tread test. The glute department did not pass the tread test, okay? It could have looked okay as is, but after moving around in these, the material wanted nothing to do with my glutes. But in terms of functionality, okay? Aside from glute aesthetic, it's not everything. It is to me, but <laughs> it's not everything, right? Why the fuck you lying? The waistband stayed intact. It did not slip. It was overall very cellulite concealing past the sweat test with flying colors. This is a relatively breathable legging. Something I really came to love about navigation is that the lengths are always great on me. I don't think I've ever reviewed a legging of theirs that was overly long and I'm five foot three. I think my shorties are gonna really appreciate that. I have nothing bad to say except for, mm, it kind of moves away from the glutes. It's a little slippery of the fabric. If you want a little less waistband compression, you could get away with sizing up. My small was all right, but in between, definitely sizing up. So as of right now, I'm gonna go ahead and say these leggings are okay. I don't dislike them, but I don't love them either. Next up is the Curve. This baby's in the color indigo blue. When I pulled it out of the package, I was like, oh my God, this looks like a pair of jeans, okay? It looks like denim, especially with that very faint light white marl in between, just scattered throughout. Looks like a nice pair of jeans, does it not? Is this legging just like the contour? Is this the twin legging of the contour? We're about to find out. Well, when I first put it on, first and foremost, this material is completely opposite of the legging I just shared with you. This has more of a gritty feel to it. A little bit more rough, rugged, not as silky soft. There's really no buttery silky soft in this legging. Believe it or not, I felt like it trapped heat a little bit more too, even though the material was technically slightly thinner. You still had a pretty decent compression around the waistband. I noticed that when I pulled it up, I was like, oh goodness, are we gonna have the same problem as the contour? Are we gonna have a uni butt here? I pulled it up and molded it around my glutes so freaking nicely. And I was pretty scarred from this legging. I said, okay, but you're not gonna stay there, are are you? It did. It did. It was so good to me. I did some sumo squats. I was on the treadmill. I did like a mile in the treadmill just to make sure it didn't slide out from my glutes. It literally retained its shape so well. Very impressed with this legging. The fact that it's not ultra buttery, soft and slippery really helped to make it feel like I was just getting so much support around my glutes where I like it. The entire legging as a whole is definitely more compressive than the one you just saw. I would give it moderate to high throughout. There's definitely more support you can feel around the legs for sure. With that being said, if you're in between, consider sizing up. Small was okay for me though. The contour under the glutes, okay. You know, I could take it or leave it, honestly. <laughs> but what was most important to me is that the leggings retain their shape. Maintained, not retained. Doing the tread test. <laughs> The contour under the glutes did not shimmy down, end up on the back of my freaking legs. Everything about this backside felt like it didn't even budge. When I was squatting, when I was on the treadmill, this legging didn't move. If you're watching at home and you're like, look, I just want the classic navigation look to make my glutes look just delectable. The curve is it. And I have had a lot of you gals telling me, Ash, you gotta try the curve. You just have to, please. Now I see what the hype is all about. And the fact that it has a rugged texture makes me okay with having ankle straps on, Velcro rubbing up against, weights rubbing up against, all of that makes it okay. Granted, there is not as much stretch. You're not gonna feel as much stretch as the original legging. Like this one is crazy buoyant. This one not so much. In fact, at first when I pulled it out of the bag, I was like, is this gonna have like a slight plasticky feel? Nah, it's very comfortable when wearing, but overall you just feel that support. Now don't get it twisted. Even though I really like these leggings, there were two things that stood out to me that I just gotta tell you guys. Not the most squat proof. If you have dark undies underneath, or a tattoo, chances are you're gonna see them in these, even in this dark of a blue color. It is very sweat concealing, but it did leave my skin fairly soggy. Like I said before, this didn't feel the most breathable, and the sweat test proved it. Now, sheerness doesn't really bother me that much, but I do need my legging to be a little bit more breathable. So, if they had this version just slightly more breathable, this would pretty much be a 10 out of 10 for me. Now for the digital seamless, in the color terracotta. Mm. 
Mm -mm. Now granted, this is like a beige mixed with orange. I don't really know which way I wanna go with that. I'm gonna call it a nice barange color. Wow, is this so different than both of these other leggings? <laughs> Yo, let me tell you, navigation has some range. Let me just say, like one legging can be totally different from the other, even though they look like spitting images of each other. That I do know. There's so much room in this legging. When I put it on, I was like, oh, wow. There's a, an, an ample amount of room here. With that being said, I really think you could size down off the bat. Like, I really think I could have gotten away with an extra small in these. So if you're in between especially, down is where you wanna go. Talk to me about this design though. This is what Gymshark should have called their legging. Something with digital in it, because I kept referring to it as being like a digital version of camo. All right? It's a very digitized, scratchy look. So this could make or break the legging. The print itself could literally make you go, heck yeah or heck no. Me, it's given heck yeah vibes. <laughs> I like this look. I like the Gymshark camo. So obviously I'm gonna like this one too. But does it feel like the Gymshark camo though? Does it? No. This actually has a ton more stretch. This actually has a lot less compression in it. Like there's none at all. You remember Gymshark camo actually was very tight. I feel like I had to size up in most of those pieces. This not so much. This I have to size down. What's that tell you? They're pretty opposite, aren't they? I wouldn't be doing crazy hit in these. I was doing step ups and I did feel myself jiggling around and moving. So if you're like, nah, I need some more support, then definitely just check out. I really suggest this curve legging. Believe it or not, these are the longest in length. Still perfectly fits fine though. Big takeaway right here. Best on the booty. If I thought the contour, no. If I thought the curve was good, this one's really good. That's because there's virtually no compression anywhere, not even in the waistband. These leggings in particular, I did not have to do anything to make them look good on the glutes. I just pulled them up and they worked their magic. And especially when walking it on the treadmill, that bish didn't go anywhere. It just stayed in place. Especially for that low of compression, I was actually surprised. I was like, there's no way it's gonna stay. It did. You're all about comfort. You're just trying to keep it real. <laughs> then this would be the one you wanna to gravitate towards. Waistband's a little big though. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it comes fairly high. I notice a lot of their waistbands do. And my short torso doesn't love that. It just doesn't. Great with cellulite. Especially with this design, I would think it would be. You would think with this design that it would be sweat concealing. I was actually flabbergasted Bruh. when I saw the sweat show right through. And boy, was it soggy. It was a soggy sweat. Now, I don't understand how. <laughs> I was actually shook at that. I was like, you know what? I knew it. You had to have a downfall somewhere. I noticed that. When I really love a legging, it's always something. These leggings feel the most like they're animal and they're camo. So if you really love that style, you love that fit, I think you would love this too. All right, guys, I just spent the last five minutes trying to decide which one of these leggings I like more. And I seriously, I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna have to have a tie right here. I like them for different reasons. I love the curve for when I want to really do some intense workouts. I like the grittiness and they just, they look so great on the glutes. They really do. They're so opposite of the contour, but they felt the same when pulling them out of the package. This is just such a hit for me. When I want a little more spice, when I want a little more personality, when I want less compression, all right? Say I'm doing a low key workout, not in the mood for much of a compressive band. Maybe it's that time of the month I'm feeling extra bloated. Then I'll grab these. I'm just like, you know, GTFO. Performance legging, not my cup of tea. In fact, there's other navigation leggings I've tried that I like a lot more than this one. This felt too high maintenance right around the glute area. I felt like I constantly had to be checking back there, pulling up, trying to hope it stays. This alone was enough to turn me off. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no to these. Not that it's bad. It's just not my cup of tea compared to all the other navigation leggings. I'm gonna steer away from this one. All right, guys, that was it. We have officially tried every single navigation legging that they have to offer. This feels fair. I feel like now we officially have a well-rounded outlook on what they offer, the pros, the cons, all the in-betweens. The fact that during this entire time of me trying their leggings, they kept the pricing very consistent. I'm still seeing $48 leggings, which is really good. They're not playing that whole inflation game. 
<laughs> where all of a sudden the same leggings are now like $70, $80. So I have to give them credit for that. Comment down below, what are your thoughts on the leggings that I shared with you in today's video? What's your favorite navigation legging in general? Up next, we have some brand new Gymshark. Seamless pieces that look so good. I'm hoping that when they come in, ooh, I'm hoping for the best here. I was told by my Gymshark girly that these pieces coming up are great on the glutes. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, that's all I'm gonna say. I hope so because Ooh, I can go for it. I really can. So definitely stay tuned for that. We have a lot of fun videos coming your way. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you guys and I'll catch you in my next video. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm literally so hungry. Can you hand me my tuna, baby? Yo, tell me you got a tag in between your boobs. Oh, that's your hair. Never mind. <laughs> What are you I talking was, about? Was tags. I was like, yo, the plastic, you don't feel that? Nah, dude, like, oh, I took my. all the tags off. We are gonna be checking out the digital, what is it called? <laughs> the digital performance? No. Digital singles. Okay. Depending on how these go, I might just snap. Yeah, because in the game, okay. he snaps and then. <laughs> Jesus. And this is gonna be like nail biter. Next up is the contour curve. Oh shit. <laughs>